As a woman, this video was difficult to make, even if it was satire. And I have one message for the so-called feminists who are believing in girlhood and womanhood and women stay together, but I haven't heard a word about Palestine and what women from Palestine are suffering. So my message is double standard, ignorant, pathetic, inhumane, spoiled brats, silent, complicit, selfish, fake, two-faced, hypocrite, so-called Western feminists wannabe. Palestinian women are abused in front of their families and their children. And this is happening for 75 years. Um, have you seen the new Taylor Swift concert? Oh my gosh, she was so savage. All together. I mean, this is the most beautiful thing about feminism. Like, we stay together. Yeah. Mm, what? Uh, they, they live in tents, um, they're displaced. We, yeah, and as I was saying, we absolutely need a march to empower women. Like, we sit together, we, we, we are the best. We don't need men, we hate men. <laughs> if I'm a feminist, of course, womanhood, girlhood, all together we are stronger. The woman in Gaza, where? Oh, they're Muslims. Oh, they wear headscarf, oppressed. A Christians too. It doesn't matter. God, it's a woman. You know, it's a microaggression to say a man. It has to be like a man and woman. Um, what? They are humiliated and oppressed. No, no, I, I, I cannot talk about those things. You know, because my post on my feed on Instagram, they are all pink and with all that, you know slaughtering and stuff they they don't go with my post for the love of god let me finish a sentence man i don't maybe you're not used to women talking i don't know but I'd like oh my god like she's totally right i mean we need to speak our voices <laughs> we are all together what oh she was talking about the what the genocide in gaza how many women were killed thousands but it's a woman talking, I mean, we need to believe her, right? I mean, we stick together as girl power. Palestinian women are giving birth at checkpoints oh, with no medical care or food. Um, well, um, have you seen the latest trend? Like when the girls are putting their makeup and they're showing like how they're making food from scratch. Oh my God, I, I, I love that empowerment. You should empower yourself, you know? sell your body on the internet or three dollars only you feel woo, very empowered um yeah what so they're suffering sa and they don't have intimate items in gaza i don't know but i heard we're gonna do a march to go like topless on the streets just to do like like the man because everything we have to do it the same go torso naked and stuff like that it's a very important march we have to speak for the oppressed woman you know we are, we are so oppressed in western world but we have to think about women from other countries about uh, palestine no um i mean i heard stuff but you know, it's very controversial i'm not gonna speak about those things i have brand deals my tax dollars are going to a genocide no, I never send money there. Like, I know how to spend my money. Duh. So, uh, what? Starbucks and McDonald's? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm an eat girl. I have to do stories and I have to be, you know, fashionable. And with the trends and pumpkin spice, gluten-free, non-offensive bread they have, I have to. So please don't be such a bigot. But we need to stay united, you know? The, the woman of the entire world. Yeah, um, no, I, I mean about Palestine, you know, I, I, I don't want to lose followers and uh, I don't know, it's, it's like, of course, we have to stay united, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's like a big controversial thing to speak about and it's war.